Welcome to another video of PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Today I will show you uh, a project that I made for my workbench. Again, this is an, uh, a seven segment uh, digit module. This module has five seven segments connected uh, the inputs in parallel. This module is uh, made for uh, my experiments and my projects that I make and for the circuits that I present from time to time that I make on a breadboard this module has uh, a 13 pin out here this one and uh, if you see there is an offset from the main board the pin goes I want when I place the module on the breadboard I want the LCD, the screen along with the digits to be away from the breadboard just to save space and with this module you can save a lot of space and most of all you can save a lot of time because if you want to wire five digit like here you need about 40 uh, connections with a uh, with a wire and that sucks and here I use only this space of the breadboard for the connections the output of the module is the A B C D E F G inputs from the digits and then there are the five cathodes because they are common cathodes that makes a total of 13 pins now let's see the module in action so what I've got here is the same module and I have connect 8 resistors it's 45 ohms each one and uh, I'm going to drive the digits with 5 volts from my power supply first of all I need to connect one cathode I will choose the fifth digit okay and now I will start giving power to the input so this is input A B C D E F G and the dot let's see an example for example we want to write number 7 then we give power to A give power to B and we give power to C and now we've got number 7 so we can use another cathode to demonstrate the basic multiplexing we can turn on this one or this one or this one or that one and that's all I think about this module so another good about this circuit this project actually is not a circuit is that you can take it out from this board completely dismantle the board and get another board in the scene you can see here I also have 
the protective resistors yes and connect it this is a very simple circuit just to demonstrate the flexibility of this uh, module and I wonder why so many years I didn't have this module before I started and I will use my frequency generator, my brand new frequency generator you can find this project also in uh, Tech Labs and I have also a demonstration from this one and I will turn it on I we'll can go faster or slower or much slower ok that's all about it thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting projects.